Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today, AMD is pulling PCI Express 4.0 support on these boards. They announced a new dual GPU and 2070 Ti specs. But first, if you like Gamer Meld and what I do here, consider supporting the channel on Patreon where every three months I give out a cool hardware related gift, have some sweet content coming up, and I'm going to start sharing deals when I see them. You can find that at patreon.com slash gamer meld. Alright, it's news time, and first up for today, AMD did some backtracking when it comes to older motherboards supporting PCI Express 4.0. If you remember, it wasn't long ago that the company confirmed both the 300 and 400 series motherboards could support the new standard. Plus, they wouldn't be blocking the feature, it was just up to motherboard partners to determine what boards could and would support it. And some motherboard vendors went as far as releasing beta BIOS updates to do just that. Well, in a new statement, AMD's basically taking it back. The company stated, quote, Users today may find a PCI Express 4.0 option available in their pre-X570 motherboards. However, users should expect this option to be disabled when final retail BIOSes are released to implement full performance and stability for new 3rd gen Ryzen processors. Tom's Hardware was able to speak with some motherboard vendors at Computex, and according to them, there's multiple issues that required this change. For example, older motherboards don't have wide enough spacing between traces to maintain signal integrity with PCI Express 4.0. With all of that said, you can keep the current beta BIOS that's out and effectively get PCI Express 3.8 speeds, but you're doing so at your own risk. Next up, AMD announced a couple new graphics cards along with the first ever 7 nanometer dual GPU. The cards were launched alongside the new Apple Mac Pro series and they're on AMD's Vega 20 architecture. Unfortunately, these are for the company's Radeon Pro series, so they're not gaming cards, but there's one interesting fact that I'll get to in a minute. As for specs, the Radeon Pro Vega 2 Duo, otherwise known as a mouthful, is, according to AMD, the world's most powerful graphics card. It comes with the full 64 compute units on both GPUs, leading to 128 compute units and 8192 stream processors, and it's clocked at 1700 MHz. Those specs combined give the card 56.8 teraflops of FP16 compute and 28.4 teraflops of FP32. It also comes with a whopping 64 gigabytes of HBM2 memory. Now, the interesting part is that the two GPUs are combined using AMD's Infinity Fabric, which is five times faster than PCI Express 3.0. With all of that said, before you get too excited, remember that dual GPUs are a lot easier to do for workstation applications because they're designed for it. So don't expect Navi to offer dual GPUs that look like a single graphics card just yet. With that said, we know AMD is working on it and seeing the technology required to make it work is really exciting for the future. Lastly for today, we have a potential leak for an upcoming 2070 Ti. I say potential because this user has been right and wrong in the past, but they're actually claiming that it's confirmed. Plus, it's yet more evidence of an impending RTX 2070 Ti. Posted on Twitter, you can see the specs were listed for the card and shows it offers 2560 CUDA cores, the same 14 gigabit per second GDDR6 memory, and a boost clock of 1770 MHz. Basically, with a slight bump in cores and higher boost clocks, I'd expect the 2070 Ti to be around 15% more powerful than the 2070, which puts it more or less in line between the 2070 and 2080. Really, the question I think is why do this with the rumored super GPUs coming so soon? Obviously, if it really is nothing but faster RAM, the difference in performance won't be much, but it's gotta be enough to give it a whole new skew. That, or it really is just a way to take attention from AMD's Navi. Who knows? So while that does it for today, tell me what you're most excited for in the future of GPUs. More RAM, the end of monolithic GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.